I have to be honest. I don't know how you guys go to Home Goods and shop and all that. I just went into a Home Goods since I'm out and stuff, and I went in there and I got a headache as soon as I got out there because to me, it doesn't look cute in there. It just looks like a hot mess, to be honest with you. It's just like, like a whole bunch of shit just put in there. And I'm thinking, how do people go to these places? I and honestly buy? was not motivated in there to buy anything. Like I was actually depressed. So I'm learning about myself because I went in there and I was in my eyes were like, oh, there's so many cute things. I was actually disgusted. I was like, what is all this bullshit in here? It's just trash, to be honest with you. It's trash. And see, America's already messed up since you're used to buying, just buying shit to buy shit. You know, it's like stuff that you're going to be trash and going to Goodwill or whatever the case may be. Anyway. I got a couple of things from there and you're probably going to be laughing but you're going to see when I show you what I got from there. It wasn't like cups or trinkets or shit like that. I didn't get home. That's how bad I felt from going there. And I'm never going to go there because I went the line was swarming around like a snake. I'm like, this is what people do on Saturdays. They go to home goods and stuff. I went to the thrift store real quick too because I had to wait for the restaurant to open for my son's pizza. So I went in there for a little bit. I didn't record because... Whatever, I just didn't record. Just didn't record. Okay. And the thrift store is not like it used to be either. Maybe it'll be better by the holidays. Not that I'm gonna, you know, go buy anything. But the furniture and everything was lax. There wasn't anything, you know, that's like wow or anything like that. So anyway, I'm headed home now. I might stop at a thrift. I might not. I'm not gonna stop because I'm tired. I want to go home and I need to eat. I'm on guard Chronicles. You know what I'm saying? I need to get something for this to hold because I can't be holding this all the time. I literally have a headache. Seriously, I had to get out of there. It was crazy. I don't. Thank God I'm the way that I am. I'm just saying, y'all can keep shopping at Home Goods and stuff like that. Because when I watch a lot of the vlogs of these people going to Home Goods or wherever the hell else, your house is, I mean, whatever. I'm not going to say anything bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say anything bad. Cause you could, what is this guy doing? Cause you could say my house is trash, but you know what? At least if you say my house is trash, I could, like, you know what my rebuttal to that is? Yeah, my house is trash, but I can guarantee you that it has shit that you're not gonna find in Home Goods and whatever the hell that Ross and all that other piece of BS. You know what I'm saying? My store is not, my house is not gonna look like one of those stores. Everything. You're just removing the stuff from TJ Maxx into your home. So. Your, your home looks like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. That's what it looks like. My house doesn't look like that, so. That's my answer if some of you wants to say, oh, your house is trash, but none of you are gonna say that because you know my personality and you know if you even say it said that, it'll be a waste of saliva because you know I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Hungry. The thrift stores are becoming expensive too. I don't know if I said that, it's crazy. Certain ones, I'm like, these people must be nuts. You're charging the jewelry. These corny earrings, and what, what used to be six dollars, something like that, five, six dollars, vintage. Now they're trying to charge twelve ninety nine and stuff like that. I told the lady, I said, "Y'all are crazy. That shit's gonna just sit there collecting dust, and you're gonna have to mark it down anyway." Because even though the economy is what it is, people are not dumb. This guy was in there in the thrift store, and he was holding on to like this jersey type of shirt, and he couldn't really understand the tag. And he saw a lady passing by and he, uh, he asked the lady, is this $29.99 or $12.99? And she said, oh, $29.99. And he was like, oh, okay, he put that shit back. So that's what I'm saying. Like, who's going to pay $30 for whatever? I don't care. It wasn't like anything like glamorous that's worth that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all in the thrift store, if you're watching this video, you need to pay attention to the prices because your house is not going to be good for y'all. If you want to have work and a job, you know, charging on people are not going to pay. So be mindful and be moderate with the prices, okay? Nobody's going to pay $12.99 for fucking old earrings, okay? Well, if they're going to do that, they'll fucking go to Marshall or TJ Maxx and buy Rachel Zoe or, or, or House of Harlow earrings and stuff like that, brand new. They have not been tarnished or used by any other humans. So think about what I'm saying. I'm saying Uh, um, no, that's good.
This store, this store, oh, it's a, no, I was going to say, this, this, this store gets busy? Sometimes. During the rushes, like lunch and dinner. Or lunch, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I just needed to get this real quick. Okay, obviously. Hi, guys. I'm home. I came home. I ate that burger so fast that I couldn't even vlog it. Yeah, so anyway, burger? I just wanted to say this real quick before I forget in this oh, before I play, vehicle before, chronicles. Before, before I play, I have, I'll have a... Oh. I saw in one of my vlogs, I think you saw me, I, I thrifted this and I was talking about it because I had another bag. Anyway, I just wanted to say I carried this today. And I really, really love this bag. And see, this is what I'm saying about sometimes you women spend so much money buying all these things. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like I was saying, you want to get more comfortable? Anyway, the point is, is that this bag that I thrifted two or three weeks ago, whatever, I don't remember. This leather, what is it? Liz Claiborne. I really, really love this bag. I carried it today when I went to do my errands and it feels so comfortable. I love this bag. And that's the point I was trying to tell you guys before I relocated that sometimes in reality, you don't need to spend a lot of money on a bag that's going to be functional and comfortable for you. Okay. Thrifted $8. And to me, that's a lot because I'm cheap, but I know things have gone up. But anyway, it's worth it because when I Googleize this on people that are selling it, obviously they're selling it way more. So for a simple look, I really, really love this bag, and I went basic today with a black top and some jeans. What? <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you that really, really quick before I forget. Thrift bags. Don't be spending all this money on Instagram bags, $30, $40, $50. That's a lot of money when you can get something cute like that from the thrift. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the things that I found thrifted. I'm going to do this because sometimes I can't see myself that good. Give you the receipt. 23.76 is what I spent at the thrift store. And here, the first thing is, be really quick because I don't do long vlogs now. Nice and sweet. I thrifted this mug for $1.99. This is a made hand crafted in Turkey, handmade in Turkey. So I got this one. I love the color. Oh, no, the video was looking crazy anyway. And I got this one. Anyway, the red one and a blue one. Beautiful, unique, Turkish. It says it right here at the bottom. You can't see it. So I really, really love those. And they were really cheap. And then uh, I got these shorts for my son. Uh, these Adidas. I love the color. These were $2. Okay. Got that. And then the last thing that I thrifted that was wrapped in there because it was very, very fragile is this um, beautiful... I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a decorative piece. Uh, at the bottom, you can't see here. It's marked, but it's also marked here. Made in Egypt. I don't know if you can see that made in Egypt and this was actually the bulk of what I paid because this one was $14 okay etched with the gold and I really really liked it so that's basically what I uh, found at the thrift store when I just went perusing and looking around so now this is what I spent in home goods when I went over there I was traumatized and sad total amount here spent Twenty-two forty-four, even number. Let me show you this real quick. The first thing that I got over there, I love to buy my uh, bathing soaps and stuff like that. So I got this. I got one already. That's in uh, the white bottle, coconut or something else. And this is strawberry milk from Korea. I really, really love this brand. It's really, really good. My body. I'm not allergic. I really like this. Uh, Cream, this is uh, Medix 5.5 Coconut Oil and Manuka Honey Lotion. For my body, I love Manuka, Manuka, Manuka Honey. I use it for my face. And when I found this, I was happy because, of course, 
this is really really good and for the last body. thing that i found was this uh pink uh i don't know how to say it so sokoa sokoa maybe i don't know it's the brands right here and it's uh pink rose and oak i mean oat milk shower gel repair and hydrate this is an, an australian brand that i really really like so when i saw it i got it there and the girls were looking at me she's like oh you you know about but whatever they were just talking to me looking at what i'm buying which i didn't understand which i thought was weird so anyway that's the haul for the um the Marshalls Home Goods TJ Maxx, of course. Like I said, I don't buy stuff from there really. And when I do buy it, stuff like this or creams or whatever. Because like I said, I was very, very traumatized when I went in there today. I was very sad. I had to get the hell out of there. Because first of all, all the stuff that I saw in there, there was nothing. Even the Halloween stuff, I was like, oh my God, I need to get out of here before I, I just, I had to go. I had to go. I was not happy. So that's basically the haul. So this is the Car Ride Chronicles vlog. Have a nice weekend. I'm going to put on my PJs, watch TV, relax, eat, peace.